As you may know, since I do love to stay cozy in the morning, I typically enjoy my morning coffee inside the Forerunner. But my setup can be cluttered and sometimes messy. I've been thinking of a better way to organize my space. While I admire the practicality and durability of Molly panels, they just don't suit my aesthetic. I'd feel like I was waking up inside a medieval prison. Also, they're meant for storing safety and recovery gear, not coffee fixins. What I want is something that uses the same space as a Molly panel, can't be permanent, and it shouldn't damage the interior. It should be inexpensive and built with basic tools. I need to be able to see out of the window and to put up my window cover, and it needs to look nice. Two inches bigger all the way around. Not too bad. Let's see. This angle could be sharper. This needs to go straight down. Hit that. One fifty five. That's going to need a bigger spacer. It is a ten, though. Go. Might even need to go longer. How do they sell something longer than 55? I guess we'll find out. Inch and a half. It's the right spot. Now that's off. Actually, should be higher. I wanted to do a practice piece just to make sure my jigsaw settings are how I want them, try out the new blade, and I am glad I did because look at all of that. I'd be mad if this was the real piece. So I just have to remember when I do it for real to uh, flip it upside down so that the good side is on the bottom. So I have to think backwards. Fun. These are uh, six millimeter by one by 16. So it's gonna be pretty snug on a half inch panel. This one is thinner. So uh, the half inch panel and the bracket, it's gonna be tight. I don't know, maybe I should've gotten 20s. This first bolt hole is still not aligning to the hole I drilled. So what I end up doing is putting a bunch of marker on it and shoving the board up against it and seeing where it lands. Um, so hopefully, do do do. One of these marks, I I reinforced it, but I got a mark here and I got a mark here. I think it's this mark. 
it's probably closer to where we want to be. So I'm going to put one up there and I hope that works. <laughs> the other problem is that the, um, I don't think that that bolt is long enough. We might have to go, gosh, I don't know, 70 millimeters. It was right around this point that I started doing the mental math to figure out what the price difference would be to just buy the cheapest knockoffs I could find and modify them for my needs. Six, two more, eight and a half for the top one. curve. I was going to do it later, but in order to reach that last bolt hole, I need to cut the openings in the panel. I thought it would be cool to riff on the old Toyota graphics and make three forward-leaning rectangles. But they came out all goofy looking and weren't as practical as what I ended up doing in the final version. Okay, so progress. With the holes, I can actually reach back here and uh, get it closer, but this is still not long enough. It still doesn't reach. So I wanna see if they have to make, if they make longer of these because it's not quite there and I had to move the bracket to the front of the panel. Not a big fan, I wanted all the brackets to be hidden, but that's the only way I could get it pushed back farther. I mean, I could probably make a new bracket that's longer right here. So maybe in the real one, I'll do that. But yeah, no matter how far back I put it, the, this bolt doesn't reach, so I guess I gotta go to the hardware store, get router bits, and um, a long M8. We have contact. fixed. We are a fixed. That was the 80 millimeter. Pretty exciting. Hell yeah. All right. Well, this is not working out so great. Back to the jigsaw. I like this side better. Okay. This way. I hope I can get two out of this. Just for kicks, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Woo. Maybe 
maybe. That is tight. There is no, no room for error there. Need to cut it on the back side for tear out. Switch them to the 12 TPI. Now it's locked. Unfortunately, to fit both panels on one sheet, the driver side one was right side up, so it got some tear out on the front side, which is unfortunate. It also got the ugly side. Well, the boring side. This is the pretty side, and no tear out. Unfortunately, it's the back. Back to that, I guess. Yeah. All right, so the space available in the middle is six and three quarters, divided in half, three and three eighths, and then I put a half inch on either side, so we have an inch long bar in the center. That is the plan. Anyway. Took a couple passes, but there we have it. And now, close. Ugly as sin, but thankfully I have plans to address that. <laughs> Eight and a half, but I need to add a half inch. I wanted this to go a little deeper, so we're gonna cut it at nine, I think. Upgrading to steel, three quarter inch steel. panel and this is going up to the coat hook so we want this but a little longer all right I mean the whole thing is curving I don't know the whole thing curves I don't know how we're gonna do this I'm just gonna play with it close Money. I 
that seems pretty all right. Now, next question is, will one of these long bolts still attach here? Exactly why I drilled the slots that way, so I can see. I think we're making contact. Cool. Pretty plumb. Just gotta do this fella, which should be pretty easy. Oh, we're getting there. Luckily, the last bracket looks like that. <laughs> Nice and easy. I think these are the 55 millimeter ones that I originally bought. The only ones that actually fit. Okay. Put a nut on the back of that one. But. Rounded out the ends, at least on the sides that show. I'm just kind of stub the corners on the ones that don't and then um, yeah hit them with the flap disc to get all the markers off It might be big. A smaller one. Be good. Pretty darn close. Maybe we should not have a bigger one. However, it's too late. Use the bigger bit on the second hole and perfect. Well, certainly made it crazy and ugly. Again, I hate the router because it's just this crazy rodeo that gives me this kind of bullshit. <laughs> and it still doesn't fit. Oh shoot, you know what else I forgot? I was supposed to put a nut behind this long bolt. All right. Actually, I wanted to put, oh, it's not threaded enough for me to do that. Shoot. Well, we're just gonna have to see how it goes. I think it'll be pretty. See, that's why I wanted to put a nut back there to prevent this. Bounce. That's good. It's got a 
drive me. This is going to drive me. Okay. I have extra magnets for that. I do see a problem though. I was gonna hang the trash bag right here, but that is gonna hit. So I need to move my trash hooks. Okay, I knew there was gonna be modifications. Looks like the 90 millimeter one. get a teeny tiny little wrench back there and really tighten it up but I know, that's not going anywhere shim it up a little, a little straighter or just not worry about it I added this carabiner to my filter so I could hang it. Oh, maybe we do need lights. Wow, that's bright. <laughs> now you can see my carabiner action. I've got a, a punch tool that I just put that in there. <laughs> 